Good morning, welcome to CADEX TV. Today is Tuesday, July 15, 2014. My name is Matt Bernat, filling in for Frank Fortunato, who is away this week. Russia's emergency ministry said that 20 people have died and over 160 are injured in a subway accident in Moscow. The exact death toll has been changing as the situation clarifies and emergency services continue the recovery operation to free bodies from the crashed carriages. The driver of the train is alive and has been taken to a nearby hospital. The accident is believed to be the most serious in the eight decade history of the city's metro system, the world's busiest. A spokesman for the emergencies ministry said that the cause of the accident was human error, not terrorism, and that the accident happened when the train braked suddenly after a false alarm. After the May 18 hailstorm in Billings, Montana, State Farm was declining to issue renewed policies to customers because they had filed too many claims. Since 2010, there was a tornado on Father's Day, a severe hailstorm in 2012, and another in 2013 before the May 18 storm this year. Many homeowners don't know how they could avoid the damage for which they filed claims. Homeowners have met with representatives from the Office of the State Insurance Commissioner to discuss the claim disputes, and some are crying foul because they have been informed that their policies would not be renewed upon expiration. Some had assumed that the policy could not be canceled because of an act of God. Insurance companies have the right to not renew a policy over issues like claims. Non-renewal presents homeowners with multiple problems, mainly because it is difficult to be picked up after having a policy declined. Non-renewals are not issued lightly, but a company has to look at what it can reasonably cover. Several issues are considered, such as how long a customer has been with the company and what kind of insurance they have, as well as how many claims a customer has filed. Hail claims in billings have been numerous in recent years, and state officials say they've heard as many as 40,000 claims for auto damage related to the May 18th hailstorm that tore through several Montana counties. Claims by homeowners in Billings probably number about 7,000 to 8,000 per agency based on what insurers are saying. On Monday, a series of storms swept through El Paso County, Colorado, prompting a string of weather warnings and advisories, closing US Route 24 twice and washing away several small bridges. The storm hovered menacingly over the Waldo Canyon burn scar and waterlogged soil threatened to send vegetation, mud, and other debris cascading towards the scar. Soil right now is dry there and unable to absorb the rain. A string of flash flood warnings issued around 1 p.m. local time shut down the highway twice between Cave of the Winds and Cascade for several hours. An unprecedented number of earthquakes are happening in states where hydraulic fracturing is happening. The drilling method involves sending high-pressure blasts of water, sand, and chemicals into deep shale rock formations to free up oil and natural gas. The process also produces millions of gallons of wastewater. Operators then send that wastewater back underground into injection wells. Scientists are researching whether these injections are causing the earthquakes. A study published earlier this month in the Journal of Science suggests that just four injection wells in Oklahoma have caused about 20% of the earthquakes from the eastern border of Colorado to the Atlantic coast since 2008. Staco Insurance in Nigeria has so far paid about 9 billion naira in claim settlement in the first half of 2014. The company's prompt settlement of claims is part of their business strategy to attract proactive insurance brokers. The company wants to continue to strengthen its relationship with insurance brokers to guarantee the growth of its business portfolio. The company's focus on insurance brokers was due to their critical role as stakeholders in the nation's insurance industry. Staco Insurance also said that the changing character of insurance marketing had altered the role of brokers and provided a better channel between brokers, clients, and insurance companies. The role was not just for the brokers to place business with the companies, but to also educate clients about diverse insurance products. Insurance penetration in Nigeria is still low, and brokers have all the tools that it takes to woo the gracious... The insurance penetration in Nigeria is still low. And insurance brokers have all the tools that it takes to woo the nation's growing middle class to the opportunities inherent in insurance. Increasing levels of risk associated with economic development in emerging economies like Nigeria make it imperative for the Nigerian government to accord insurance its rightful place. Third Point Reinsurance, 
was downgraded by Zacks from a neutral rating to an underperform rating in a research note issued. They currently have a $15.10 price target on the stock. Zacks price objectives indicate a potential downside of 4.31% from the stock's previous close. Separately, analysts at Citigroup initiated coverage on shares of Third Point Reinsurance, setting it to a neutral rating. One equities research analyst has rated the stock with a sell rating, and three have issued a hold rating, and one has issued a buy rating to the company's stock. Third Point Reinsurance currently has a consensus rating of hold and an average target price of $16.27. That's the news for today. Thank you for watching, and we will see you tomorrow. If we have any important breaking news, we will come back on and tell you. Have a nice day.